So this YouTube award I got from one of my fish seems to be very applicable today. So right now we're gonna do some manly man lessons. Not a lesson for them as much as for those who want to court them. I've got an accoutrement of bullets that I've loaded up for the 44 mag. You need to test them out. All right, went through and shot everything. I changed my grip on these last two rounds. And, and I know better because what we're trying to do is see at least the consistency. And then we can work on everything else after that. So that really threw this last one off. You saw on my FMJs, you know, they're hitting point of aim. Move to the next load, it's just a little bit lower. The next load, just a little bit lower and to the left. And then the next is a little bit lower and to the right. And then we come up here and it's way lower until I change my grip. The sights on this are fully adjustable. So, so I don't really have an issue where they're hitting on the target per se, as much as I need to pick a, a group that I like the best. There's enough human error going on in here and my own lack of skill set with this pistole that uh, I, I can pick any one of these and, and go with it. And I feel pretty confident that it's going to do all right once I figure out how to shoot the stupid pistol. But judging by this, I'm thinking the, the 20 grains of accurate arms, I think that's the winner. Most definitely. Now, among the bullets that are the most elusive for me to catch, number one so far, catching a 12 gauge shotgun slug. Those things are just, they're just wicked. You never really know what's going to happen with those. And then the next is the 44 mag. Now, I don't have enough jugs. In my experience, I generally have to have a ton of jugs to try to catch a 44. Those things, they're just mean and nasty. Let's see what happens. Before we load this guy into the pistole, this is a 240 grain XTP. All right. That was awesome. All right, that first jug, that is clear over here. That thing just smashed it. See the little N in Monks? That's where I was aiming. So that was just a little bit low and to the left. I believe that's what we found on that aluminum piece. You can see by that hole that that thing has already started to expand and it is tearing a jagged, nasty hole through that jug. That is fantastic. The grasshoppers are thirsty. There's a little guy right there. He's trying to get away. All right, hit that jug just a little bit off center because my aim, well, kind of sucks. Into the second one, we'll take this back to the truck. I gotta let this camera underheat a little bit. And it's got a bunch of bits and pieces of lead and copper in the bottom of it. Oh, look at, haha, <laughs> look at that. Okay, after going through all that water, hits the pants somewhere and stops the bullet, which is what I was hoping for. All right, some little uh, range scrap right there. Let's go take this back. Let's, well, let's look at this milk jug real quick. Okay, hits that milk jug. We're gonna take a look at this again over at the truck. Still hit that with good force, but by that time it's probably fully expanded. And then there's our exit, then it punched through, hit the jeans and then stopped it. Now these little pieces of jacket and that little chunk of lead, that was in the second juice container. And then this little piece of the jacket and chunk of lead, that was what was in the milk container. Now we're gonna try to duplicate that test again. This time with an old five gallon bucket of water. I don't have a rubber duck to put on top of that thing. So I'm gonna use the next best thing, a clay pigeon. So I was aiming for this C right here and looks like, it looks to me like I just barely nicked it. I'm gonna call that a win. All right, hit that right there. 
that went that went through this super clean bucket right here came out on that end exploded this thing with awesome force goes through almost a foot of water and then smacks into these uh, Levi's right here well hey look right here we got ourselves the top of that vinegar bottle and that is about 25 meters away from where we shot it so I was wondering where that thing went all right so hits these pants get a little bit of lead after striking this So there's all these layers are kind of stuck together right here so this was caught kind of right at the seven and eight mark and then its impact still tore into 11 layers so we'll go measure this thing up on the other one and get weights on it when we get back to the estate